and we'll get questions here from Micah. First up will be Sammy Jacobs and then Dylan Wallace. Uh, good afternoon, Micah. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm doing excellent. Uh, so Maryland's offense has given uh, Tom Allen's defense fits over the last three or four years. What makes them so difficult to defend outside of they have great athletes at skill positions? Is there something schematically that makes them difficult to defend? Yeah, I mean, you know, like you said, they're very athletic, but uh, also I'd say they're very multiple in the things that they do. Um, they, run, they run a lot of different plays out of a lot of different formations. Um, a lot of the plays are similar, but, you know, it's kind of difficult when they do it out of different formations and they're motioning a lot of guys and stuff like that. So we just got to be honed in and everybody's got to know their job on each play and uh, just execute to perfection each week. Dylan and then Ethan. Hey, Mike, uh, Coach Womack put out like a video after the Ohio State game of, of kind of you using the linebacker group, uh, kind of talking, um, I guess just, and he said he was kind of really happy about sort of the leadership that, that you've shown. I guess what do you remember about sort of the mood in the locker room, kind of what your mindset was after the game and kind of, uh, I guess, just, you know, what, what was the message you wanted to get across to the guys? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, it was definitely a depressed mood in the locker room. Uh, guys were, were down after that game. And, you know, I just think I wanted to, you know, just communicate to the linebackers that I feel like, you know, it's just on our shoulders to to get everybody uh, to the position where they need to be for this team to be successful. And, you know, the linebackers are such a, a core group and, and so crucial for the defensive side of the ball to be successful. And we need to, you know, communicate with each other and tell everybody, you know, when they're doing something wrong and uh, pat them on the back when they're doing things right. But, you know, we just got to continue to be the leaders that we can be and just make sure everybody's locked in each day and, and getting better. Stefan and then Kevin Brockway. Uh, you guys have faced a lot of dual threat quarterbacks throughout this season. I mean, what have you kind of learned from that that you can take in the Saturday, Saturday's matchup against the Tango Valoa, who also presents that? Yeah, uh, we definitely need to keep this guy contained. Um, you know, we did a good job, uh, a fairly good job last week, but we didn't get uh, the quarterback down enough. We didn't get enough sacks. And uh, we, need to, we need to continue to keep him contained and uh, get to him and get him on the ground when we can. Um, but also, you know, it's on the back end, just, just keeping it confusing for him, making him uh, double clutch and, and go through his reads, um, you know, and hopefully uh, throw some takeaways for us. But, uh, yeah, it's just about keeping him contained and, and having our blitzes get there. Evan and then John Blau. You know, Micah, the takeaways this year seem to have come in bunches. It seems like you're getting about two or three each game. Um, you know, last year they didn't come until later, but what do you think has been the big difference defensively uh, last year to this year with regards to the takeaways? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just, you know, we're giving, we're giving guys multiple looks, and, uh, you know, Coach Kane does a good job just throwing different coverages at guys, and, you know, maybe earlier in the game they, they might want to take a big shot or something like that, but we, we know uh, – we usually have overhang players and guys that are that are going to cut routes off on uh, you know get a takeaway underneath. But you know it also comes down we got to get more we got to get more fumbles and, and punching the ball out. That's going to be crucial this week and uh, just got to keep doing it. Last one goes to John Blau. Uh, we're talking to Thomas Allen tomorrow. So uh, I know Coach Allen was talking about these. He's a tough son of a gun. I mean you obviously played with him at Plant and you saw what he went through in terms of his rehab from the shoulder and all of that. Um, what have you seen in terms of Thomas's toughness, and, and how much have you kept in, in touch with him, and how much are you guys still thinking about him and playing for him, I guess, this season? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every day, you know, try to somehow reach out to Thomas. Usually I see him maybe in the training room or, you know, text before games or something like that. But it's just so important to, to keep a person like that on your mind, you know. You never know when that person is having a down day, and it can be every day with an injury like that. You know, it's so hard to, it's so hard to push through something like that. So we – as, as a team, we just have to keep encouraging him and, and be there with him the whole time and, you know, just uh, just encourage him. And, and, you know, we know it's going to be a long process for him, but we know he's a tough guy and he'll he'll keep pushing through it. All right. Thank you, Micah. Thanks, guys. All right, Miles Martin.